Well, now on Scottish, tonight's new lines from ITN. Leaders of the Signal Workers' Union meet today to decide whether to escalate strike action after the fifth one-day stoppage yesterday. It's thought they're planning to increase the number of strikes from one to two a week. British Rail said it managed to run about one-fifth of its normal services this time without risking passenger safety. All the signal boxes on this line are being operated by signalmen, either RMT signalmen who've returned to work or non-RMT signalmen who've worked through the strike anyway. Defence Secretary Malcolm Rifkind will today tell the Commons of his plans to cut spending. Rosyth Naval Base in Fife, once tipped for closure, expects to hear that more than half its 1,300 civilian workers will keep their jobs. A partial reprieve, but much less than the locals want. We won't be celebrating until we've got assurances and we've got a naval base secure for a long-term future. What we don't want is this government to use this as a cosmetic exercise to save face in Scotland again. Josie Clark, the aunt of the stolen baby Abby Humphreys, has made a second TV appeal to whoever took her. I asked you on Saturday to phone the, to phone the police to let them know, to let my sister know that her baby is well. But so far, there's been no response. That's it. I'll have more news later. Hardy, this is P.C. Garfield. Would you mind answering the door, please? Go away, I'm, I'm all right. You set that up. He didn't do that Tallow Street job, did he? Matt is a crook. You know that. There are schools to be settled in the bill. Thirty at eight on Scottish. I'll be sorry you did that. Well, she went all the way to number one with her song Dreams, and she's all set for worldwide success. Here's the story so far on Gabrielle. 